where that last <laughs> video left off, and I was trying to show you the um, analog input card and how you would scale it there in the properties. So when I um, when I chose the uh, input data type, when I changed it from differential data to single in the data, I chose the wrong one. I selected the wrong one, so it didn't show. Um, I want to show you first that right now it's it's back to its default setting, which was differential data. And if I were to click right here, see all the channels, and there's channel 0, 1, 2, 3, down to 7, right? So like I said before, in differential mode, it actually takes two channels per um, analog input. So therefore, a 16-channel card is actually now only an 8-channel card when in differential mode. If I were to click on any one of these channels, channel 0, 1, 2, etc., I'll get to the properties of that. So right now it's showing as a, a current a milliamp. Again, I can change it to voltage versus current, and it's zero to twenty milliamp, which is which is fine. And we said four to milli, four, four milliamp to twenty milliamp, but zero to twenty is essentially the same thing. Um, and over here is where I can now scale it. So like I was trying to say in the uh, previous video. Um, in the Siemens world, we had to do the norm X and then the scale X, and that was programming. That took a, 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 a took coding. It took um, you know uh, rungs basically to to do. Here we can just bake it right on in to the analog uh, properties of the card itself, and there's no additional programming required. Um, so we have the um, basically the high and the um, the, uh, the, you know, so the low signal milliamp and the high signal milliamp and the low engineering and high engineering. So if we are a four to 20 milliamp um, device, we would change this to four. Okay, so our, our low end will be four milliamp and our high end will be 20 milliamp. And then our engineering will be um, zero to 100. Okay, and then what, what are our units, perhaps? So if we're doing pressure, then maybe it's a PSI, okay? So notice that it went from percent to PSI now. So let's just say our transmitter is actually a um, 0 to, say, 500 PSI transmitter. So when it's 4 milliamps, it's 0 PSI. When it's 20 milliamps, it's at the top of the end scale, which is 500 PSI. Um, and now it's scaled, and that's it. Um, so I'm going to go back to the general tab, and I want to go back and change it to single ended just to show you the one that I should have chose originally. So I want to take single ended no alarm and hit OK. So now you see I, I it reconverted itself, or reconfigured itself from from zero to seven now to zero to fifteen. So I've got all sixteen channels available to me. And if I go to channel zero, this looks exactly the same. So change its type, change its uh, value. So we're going to be four to 20 milliamp signal again. Uh, say we're going to be PSI again, and then zero to 500. So that's how I scale. So now when I go back to my controller tags, if I were to be live with the controller right now, and I went and found uh, the data, which is going to be kind of hiding way down here at the bottom, I believe, right? Channel zero data, channel one data, et cetera. Uh, this value is now going to be scaled. So no raw counts, none of that zero to 32,000 stuff. It's going to be the engineering unit that I will be um, bringing right on in to the tag itself. So a scale value between zero and 500 PSI. Okay, I uh, hope that kind of clears the scaling part a little bit. Again, much easier than the Siemens world. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll get a, again, get a chance to kind of see that live in the lab.